Hey there my dear friends, ever wondered how many volleyball players under 19 you know who, with almost zero pro experience, not only make it to the Olympics but also land a spot in the national team's starting lineup, but you can't think of too many examples. He's become the go-to player for the Japanese national team recently, Ran Takahashi. What's more, he's even outshining the likes of Yuki Ishikawa and Yuji Nishida in terms of Instagram followers. And today we will talk about this young and talented Japanese. So let's not waste any more time and jump right in. Ren was born on September 2nd, 2001 in Kyoto, Japan. Now you can't call him a pure-blooded Japanese because his grandfather has American roots and his mom's part German. Interestingly, his baseball-loving dad named him after a home run inspired by those American roots. Rand's journey into volleyball began in the second grade, following in the footsteps of his older brother Rui. In general, it is not surprising that both brothers and their sister chose volleyball because the same grandfather has his own volleyball courts in the US. Now, Rand didn't really get much action in pro clubs and in Padova he didn't see too much game time. So his list of achievements is relatively short. This includes being a Japanese high school champion while playing for Higashiyama where he even snagged the MVP title for the entire tournament. It's worth mentioning that Ren started his volleyball journey as a libero and that's what he primarily did during his first season in Italy. Then came the silver at the student games in 2020 with the Nippon University of Sports Science. After that, he ventured into the Nations League, the Tokyo Olympics and clinched silver at the Asian Championship. A 19-year-old rookie in the Olympic lineup? Now, that's inspiring. Speaking of inspiration, Ran looks up to his current teammate Yuki Ishikawa, who's like a superhero or an idol to him. Playing alongside someone you admire, that's something special. By the way, who would you want to play with on the same team? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Now, since Ran's volleyball career is just taking off and there are bound to be more remarkable moments in his biography, let's save that for future discussions. Instead, let's dive into Ran Takahashi's game analysis. Ready to see how this popular Japanese volleyball player performs on the court? Given the Japanese national team's style of play, Ran Takahashi was a perfect fit for the role of the second hitter. Something the Japanese were lacking, their style involves quick transitions from defense to attack, and they prefer to stay away from the block because of their physical characteristics. And that's where Ran's key strength lies. He excels at attacking from the back row and is always ready to make a move right after receiving or defending. At the moment, Ran's not known for having an impressive range of attacking moves. Most of his attacks are aimed at the 5th zone's corner when attacking from the front row. He's not one to take big risks, he often opts for dumps or plays off the block in tight spots. There's also a fair share of straightforward attacks from the back line, but trust me, his arsenal is bound to expand in the future, so we might need to reanalyze his game down the line. Because even during the Nations League, where Japan won bronze for the first time, this fantastic volleyball player had already added some amazing diagonal spikes to his arsenal that not even a group block could always stop. When it comes to the technical aspect of the attacking shot, Ron excels at every level, from positioning to the actual release. Regardless of the situation, whether it's a reception or defense, Takahashi always strives to widen his approach to get the best view of the opponent's court. Looking at his footwork, there's hardly anything to nitpick. He swiftly moves sideways using a crossover step, reaching his desired position without any unnecessary movements. Next, it's two to three steps in his approach, followed by a powerful second to last step, a full arm swing, and a flawless form for the attacking shot. There's just nothing to fault here, it's all there for the taking and using. During takeoff, his body is nearly parallel to the net, making it easier to attack diagonally, but a bit more challenging to score directly in a straight line direction. Now, when it comes to blocking, Rand's technique is solid, but he's not exactly a standard atleti. He has to give it his all, even with minimal movement. He turns sideways to get that maximum jumping height. 
Now, let's talk about his serves. Ran uses a toss with two hands and gives the ball a strong rotation, adding some side spin. This often leads to a tricky ball trajectory during his serves. It's no surprise that Ran looks up to Ishikawa. They share a similar toss technique. The difference is in the direction of lateral rotation. Ishikawa spins the ball to the right more often, while Takahashi goes left. So that wraps up our analysis of this young Japanese volleyball player. He dreams not only of an Olympic medal, but also of elevating his favorite sports popularity. That's a noble goal, wouldn't you say? After all, it wasn't in vain that Ran didn't follow Initiative's footsteps and continued his career in Italy. This not only allowed him to improve his volleyball skills, but will also let us watch his performance in European competitions in the upcoming season. Feel free to hit that like button below, I promise it won't bite, and don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, tell me who you'd like to see in our next analysis. Based on your comments, I'll prepare a new video featuring your favorite players. This has been Nick with you, catch you soon, and bye!